the voice getting to the finalists you know the final show before the grand finale which was the last one we 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 we, we saw we saw a lot of you know performances that wowed us the likes of uh Dakwa, the likes of kitty the likes of esther naomi mark we have a lot of them please don't mind the noise i just have to do this video whichever way <laughs> we have to put this thing out <laughs> so it's what it is now we have a, you know great minds on the final list now who is going to win a lot of people a lot of people are supporting their brand their favorite in that way you know some are supporting them blindly some are not supporting them for the reason why they should support them well, probably i know this person this if i know someone that knows this person and the reason why i'm supporting this person but really let's let's see their type of you know uh voice the kind of genre and what it will result into outside the show itself uh we saw the likes of uh, hanu you know, there are no po -po 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 -po. <laughs> by using the voice of uh, Yemi Alade, you know, she loves calling her by that name. I know, po -po -po -po. so we have adopted that name for her. And when she went, when she the last eviction show that uh, took her off the show, a lot of people were, you know, so sad about it. They wanted her to stay in the house. A lot of people felt like she is a match to, you know, the likes of Naomi Mark likes of uh, Esther, they might, they might, we see those girls like they are hot there, but something might happen that they will just lose their guard a little bit, and we see the likes of Hanu take it off, because she has it, she just, you know, she, she has it, she showed it one of the performance that she went down and gave it that, you know, high notes, and since then a lot of her focus has been on her, and she has not failed, you know, just being, you know, giving her up her A game like that. So, but it's a game. It's just one person that wins it. So, I feel these days we should uh, see reality shows as not, not just the winner as the reason for the show. As long as you are in the show, especially when you are getting closer to being the final, you know, part of the finalist in the show, see yourself as a winner already. That helps a long way to build your confidence and take, in, take things up from that level. The likes of the BB Ninja, the past one that we did. Yes, we know that you know the lockdown helped so much in a way that uh, we got to know these people, these housemates, all of them, you know, all of them. So they're so lucky. So all of them became a star like that. Unlike the previous ones that you know, it's towards the final. You know stages that we begin to know some names you know that we begin to get close to knowing some names. there are some people that they mention their name now and they say it's also a year of you know i don't know i don't care because i'm not watching but the last one made us to understand that you know we can actually follow from the beginning to the end if it is that creative and intelligent as a show and we see it like that going forward and then one thing that i noticed is that all of them took to their craft the winner, the first to come out, the Katrina, the Lilo, all of them are business entrepreneurs, you know, they are, they, are, they are doing good for themselves and it's helping. Why you, why why go into a reality show as BB Ninja that has so much influence and you're not making use of it because you didn't come out to be the winner? No, that's a waste of time, waste of resources and everything. So you come in for the voice and you get into a certain level, it's enough for you to just praise up, pick things up from there. So I love what Anu did. She has reached out to her uh, fans, expect so much for me, this and this and this and that. that that's the spirit. You push it home from there. So now let's go back to who we feel or think will win the voice. The voice 2021. We have the likes of KP. KP, let me pick KP and set to it. Pick him one by one like that. KP is someone you know that lumber guy. That's you know vibe, dance and everything. I don't think he has the voice like that. But he complements it with some you know crazy dance moves and you know and think that is what sells in this part of the world for now. You know something you can a sound you can bang in the club 
you know, your parties, birthday party, this one party, whatever it is, dinners, you can any fun fair, anything, you know, that's what we really want to vibe with, something that is danceable, you know, on a casual like that. So that's the reason why I feel like KP might not be the best of the participants in the house, might not even win the voice, but outside the voice is going to save if he pushes himself if he's someone that is not going to relent because i didn't win the voice and you now keep calm but if you don't win the voice and you keep that brand going and you focus on your thing you someone that is supposed to be reckoned with as you know one demand again <laughs> in the industry it's going to come out big time and we're going to embrace his craft and like him for it that's KP. Kitty, I've seen him in some reality shows before this one. He has been trying, he has been, you know, been there. At a point I felt like, why, what's the essence of you going from one reality show to another, to another, another, because you didn't win it? Must you win it before you blow? You know, stuff like that. But I digest the whole thing. See, limelight in reality shows is not precise, it's not absolute. Back in the days, people win shows and they still don't get reckoned with not like now we are beginning to open our eyes to reckon with entertainment in the way we should precisely so that if someone gets close to the finalists we focus on them whenever they are out of the house and they are coming with something it is acceptable we accept it and we you know help them grow like that so i feel like even if kitty does not win the voice this year and outside the house, outside the show, it comes out with a project, people will support it. So it's all about what you do outside this reality show, really, for me. It, we, no matter how good all of them are, it's just one person that wins the, the, the show, the voice. So, you know, it's just like that. When we're talking about singing out, the voice itself, glorified voice, that voice that melts our hearts and we want to... We're talking about Naomi Mark, we're talking about Esther. Those two, two are so, you know, up there. Easy is trying. Easy has grown. It's just like, I've forgotten, the second person to Kingdom in uh, Nigerian Idol. He also grew. He met with, you know, he grew to the extent that he was the second, first one out with uh, Kingdom. But he couldn't beat Kingdom. The Kingdom has been consistent and good. So you can't grow to compete with someone who has been there and kept the whole thing so you get it that's just what it is so easy i really don't see her win but i see her do so much more continuously as she improves and grow in the in the whole business in the show and outside the show so i'm not losing her i'm not taking her out she's still a potential a great one I'm talking about Naomi Mark now and Esther. Those ones are good when you listen to their sound. Naomi Mark is powerful. Esther is pleasant. She can twist the tune. She can give you, you know, goosebumps and take you out of the place. You know, <laughs> take you to the moon and back. Naomi Mark can inspire you with strength. She's, you know, vigor, vitality. She will eat you in your spirit. That do, uh, that's what I see as the strength of these two people. Whoever wins, a lot of people have been saying, you know, this voice, this angelic voice are good things, you know. People, personality with all these things are good, but we don't reckon with them like that on a daily in this part of the world. We prefer jamboree, we prefer KP like, you know, dance, 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 dance. And the voice really, I don't think it's for that. It's really for the voice that comes out. But is it what we embrace in this part of the world and now it's all it's not about the coaches choosing it's about the public viewing voting so it's what the world out here wants that we get as a winner so you get that is why even the two of them esther and naomi mark i'm still looking at it i'm still looking at it <laughs> comparing the, those two to kite and kp you know there are two different brands again Kite can be a performer too. Someone that's in between the singing and the performing. You know, I can put that. So I can, I, I, I can put him in that collection with KP 
and then putting Esther and Naomi together too. So which do you think will do it for us? Is it the voice, the lumber? If it's the voice, who between Naomi Mark and Esther have told you their strengths and what they can use to get us? So who do you think? I see a lot of Naomi Mark fans on my <laughs> on my videos. I don't know. I can't I can't use that to judge anyone. Because you know videos from different YouTube channels vary. It varies like that. So you can I can't really tell until so we have a unified you know platform where everybody comes to uh, put their votes so we can know which you know brand has more uh, fans than the other and stuff like that. So guys engage my comment section. Let's see what you think and what you how you feel about this. Uh, people and who do you think will wear the voice? Sentiments apart. Look at the, their personality and what they have to offer. State it and let's hear. Let's. I, I, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll try and do some counting and you know see for it's something that will be obvious even before the show ends. Let's know. Let's have a you know idea hint about who will win the show. The, the show itself. The voice Nigeria is interesting. No doubt about it. It's you no know, far, far more interesting than any other, you know, musical reality talent show like that that we've seen around. So the reason why I stay with the voice, okay? I'll see my next one, guys. Have fun and enjoy yourself. Bye for now.